patience you show me kindness Today, my friend helped me set up this fort in the clubhouse. Have you ever built a fort? To build this fort, we used lots of blankets and worked together till we had the best fort ever. Today, I brought this lantern so we can use it in the fort. When you push this button, it shines. It shines so bright, we can read books or we can play games. Lanterns are so much fun. With the push of a button, they shine so bright. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Ho, ho. What is that light with you? Oh, hi, Ollie. This is my lantern. It shines so bright so we can use it in our fort. Lanterns shine bright. Yes, they do. I know something that shines light, too. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh. Hola, friends! I'm Luis the Handyman, and I'm putting new batteries in my flashlights today. You never know when you're going to need to shine a light on something. <laughs> now raise your hand if you've ever held a flashlight. It could be a big one like this, or a smaller one like this. <laughs> wow! A lot of you have used a flashlight to shine a light. Say, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Ah, great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. 
tres. Hammer. <laughs> Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus up on a mountain. And he wasn't alone. His friends, the disciples, were there too. While they were there, Jesus began to teach. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Hmm. Jesus said, you are the light. Huh. Now we know flashlights shine and give us light. And we know that lamps shine and give us light, but Jesus said, you are the light. How can you shine your light? <laughs> well, I can't wait to tell you. Now, when you are kind to people, you shine your light so people can see that Jesus is kind. When you forgive people, you shine your light so people can see that Jesus forgives. You can shine your light every day. And I have a way for us to remember how to shine our light. Are you ready? Okay. Now, hold out your hand out like this. And pretend you're holding a really bright light. Ooh, it is shining so bright. Now, what would happen to the light if I covered it up? Hmm? You're right. We cannot see the light. It will be covered up. We want to make sure our light is not covered up so people can see it. We want our light to shine. <laughs> okay, now let's play a game with our pretend lights. Now, is this friend shining their light or hiding the light? Show me with your hands. Hmm, they're hiding their light. How could they shine their light? Yes, they could share the toy. When you share with people, you shine your light so people can see that Jesus shares. Is this friend shining their light or hiding their light? Show me with your hands. Yes, they're shining their light. When you help people, you shine your light so people can see that Jesus helps. Jesus says to shine your light to show the world that Jesus loves them and wants to be our friend forever. <laughs> now raise your hand if you can shine your lights this week like Jesus says. Yes, we can do what Jesus says. Oh, hey there, Holly. Tell me, who can do what Jesus says? I can do what Jesus says. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can do what Jesus says? I can do what Jesus says. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus says we can be a light. That means me and you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow. Jesus says we are the light of this world. We can shine like a light, just like Jesus says. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know, every time I turn this lantern on, I will remember that I can shine too. See you next time. Bye! Let your light shine, Matthew 5, 16. 
Let your light shine. Matthew 5, 16.